Hi there, I'm Dr. Terry Shaneyfelt for UAB School of Medicine. I want to cover a few more background concepts before we can launch into running some basic analyses on our cleaned up data set. We need to understand the difference between a population and a sample, between a parameter and a statistic, between descriptive and inferential statistics, and finally between parametric and non-parametric statistics. Remember, if you have any questions, you can contact me through the contact me section on my blog, which is at ebmteacher.com. So population is considered the complete set of observations that, that constitute a well-defined group. So for example, we may be interested in studying the effect of a new hypertension drug in a central hypertension. In this case, the population is all adults in the world who have essential hypertension. But it's not feasible to study every person in the world with hypertension, so we take a sample of the population upon which to conduct our study. Thus, a sample is a subset of observations drawn from the population. The key is for the sample to be representative of the entire population from which it is drawn. Though it's beyond the scope of this presentation, there are several sampling methods and several errors that can be made during the sampling phase, so I highly recommend that you review issues related to sampling before conducting a study. Now, a parameter is a value that describes some characteristic of an entire population. Lowercase Greek letters are used to represent parameters. So, for example, let's say we collect a data on the average age of every single person in a population. Now, we could do this if the population was small enough, like let's say the U.S. Senate. If we calculate their mean age, we could report it as mu, which is the Greek symbol for a population mean, and we report it as mu equals 66.2 years. A statistic, on the other hand, is a value that describes some characteristics of the sample. And Latin letters of the standard alphabet used in the U.S. are used to represent statistics. So, for example, let's say we sampled the Republican members of the Senate and calculated their mean age. We would report the sample mean here as X with a, a line over it or a bar over it, which is the standard symbol for sample mean, is 48.73 years. Now, statistics is sometimes broken down into descriptive and inferential. Sometimes we just want to describe our sample. For example, we might want to just report the mean age and the median income, and we use descriptive statistics to do this. Other times we want to use our sample data to estimate a population parameter, and we use inferential statistics to do that. So for example, I used in an earlier slide, I used an example of a study of a new hypertension drug. Since it's not feasible to study everyone with hypertension in the whole world, we'll sample a very small fraction of them and perform the study. Then we would use inferential statistics to, in a way, extrapolate the results from that study to the entire hypertensive population. To further confuse things, sometimes statistics are broken down into parametric and non-parametric techniques. Now, I'll discuss more about this issue later when we get to very specific statistical tests, but now it's worth at least being introduced to these concepts. So parametric statistical techniques rely on certain assumptions about the underlying data as I've outlined here. Now, I'll discuss each one of these more when we learn about individual statistical tests and checking your data for these assumptions. Non-parametric statistics don't assume anything about the underlying data, but they are less powerful. So in my opinion and, and that of others, parametric tests are, are usually preferred whenever possible. So in summary, we usually sample a population to do a study because it's usually not feasible to study the entire population. Parameters are characteristics of the population, while statistics are characteristics of the sample. When we describe characteristics of a sample, we are using descriptive statistics. When we want to extrapolate findings from a sample to a larger population, we use inferential statistics. Finally, statistical tests can be broken down into parametric and non-parametric based on their assumptions about the underlying data. Parametric statistics require certain characteristics to be met, while non-parametric statistics make no such requirements. So I hope this video has helped you understand more about these concepts. Have a great day.